Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with RetroPie 4.0.2 and I'm gonna be walking you through how to install the Commodore 64 emulator and run a few games. First things first here, I have my Raspberry Pi 2 connected to my TV with a HDMI cable. I have my ethernet plugged in. You will be able to use Wi-Fi also, but you need an internet connection to download and install the emulator. I'm also using an Xbox One S controller connected with a USB cable, and I have a keyboard plugged into my Raspberry Pi also. First thing we're gonna do is go to RetroPie. By the way, this is a fresh install of RetroPie 4.0.2. We'll go to RetroPie Setup, press OK. From here, when you reach the screen, if you've never been here before, let's go ahead and update the RetroPie Setup script. If you look at the top of the gray box in the middle, we have a version 4.0.2. Now that's not the version of RetroPie, that's the version of the RetroPie Setup script we're running. Let's update it. Press OK again. Press OK again. Now we're on version 4.0.3. Remember, this is not the version of RetroPie. This is the version of your RetroPie setup script. We'll go down to Manage Packages, enter this menu. We have Manage Core Packages, Main Packages, Optional Packages, Driver Packages, and Experimental Packages. For this tutorial, we're gonna be focusing on Optional Packages. We'll enter this menu. We'll scroll down until we find Vice. Vice is our Commodore 64 emulator we're gonna be using. Now it works great on Windows and a ton of other operating systems, so we might as well use it for RetroPie. We'll enter Vice. Now you can install from binary, this is much faster, or you can install from source, which will get you the latest updates. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna go from binary. This could take a few minutes, so sit back and relax, just let it finish. Okay, the VICE, or Commodore 64 emulator, is installed. You can update from source, which will update to the latest version. But the binary should work for this tutorial. I do recommend in a few days going and updating from source. It does take a little while, but the improvements may be well worth it. We'll go back, 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 and we'll exit the RetroPie setup script. So now what we're gonna do is transfer a few ROMs into our C64 folder that was just created because we now have a Commodore 64 emulator installed. I always transfer my ROMs from the PC, so we're gonna move over there now. Transfer a few C64 games. We'll come back to the Raspberry Pi, and we should see the logo on the screen after we reboot one time. So I'm back at the PC and I'm about to transfer some Commodore 64 games. Some people call them ROMs, some people call them tapes, some people call them data cassettes, data sets. I mean, there's tons of names for these, but we're going to call them games. Here at the RetroPie Commodore 64 wiki page, we can see the emulator is Vice. The ROM folder that your games will be going in will be C64. The extensions for the games can consist of CRT, D64, G64, T64, TAP, or X64. My main games are all dot tap. There is tons of documentation in here, so if you get stuck, you can go to this page. The link is in the description. You can check this out. They also have a forum on RetroPie that you can join and ask any question you would like. You may have to wait a little while for a response, but it usually comes within a few days. So I'm about to transfer my C64 games to my Raspberry Pi's SD card. I'm doing this over network. You can go to any quick access bar and type in backslash backslash all capital RetroPie or use the IP address of your Raspberry Pi with a backslash backslash in front of it. Go to ROMs. We now have a C64 ROM folder. I have a few games over here we're just going to transfer really quick. Boulder Dash, Ghost and Goblins, Great Gianna Sisters, Pac-Man, Turrican, and Turrican 2. Very quick. They're very small games. These are zipped, and they work zipped perfectly. If you did want to unzip them, you can. And that's a good way to find out exactly 
what the file extension is. As you see, miner.tap, T-A-P. Now that we have some ROMs, we're gonna go back to the Raspberry Pi, reboot one time, and I'll show you how to set up the emulator. Okay, so press start. We're gonna restart emulation station one time. If we're lucky and we did everything correctly, we should have a Commodore 64 logo on our front page here. And there we have it, Commodore 64. So if you want images here, I have another video. I'll link in the description on how to scrape all of your game art and info. But for now, we're just gonna leave them just like this. We're gonna start Turrican. Starting a Commodore 64 game can be a painstaking process. Some games take up to three to four minutes to load completely to a playable state. Be patient. We're gonna do this now by starting Turrican 2. It has an automatic launch feature built in so we don't have to put any command in to run the game. It should start it automatically. And you'll get these weird screens on a lot of these games. Wait for them to load. This is the loading process of the Commodore 64. But while we're waiting, you can either do this with a keyboard or your controller. Now I have tested this with a PS3 controller, an Xbox 360 controller, an Xbox One controller, and a keyboard. You can press start on your controller or F12 on your keyboard to reach the vice main menu. We're gonna scroll down. You can use your D-pad or your analog stick on your controller. On your keyboard, you'll use your arrow keys. We'll go to machine settings, press A on your controller or enter on your keyboard. Joystick settings. Joystick device number two. From here, this is gonna set up how we're gonna control this game. You can use the number pad on a keyboard Fire will be zero, four is left, six is right, eight is up, two is down. Or we can go to joystick, which I'm going to use. Now this works perfectly with the Xbox One controller that I'm using. I'm gonna use a joystick for this. We'll press start again, one more time, and one more time. Give it a few minutes to load. Turrican actually loads faster than a lot of the other games that I've tried. The Gianna Sisters takes about five minutes to load completely to a playable state. I know this looks weird, like something bad's going on. Trust me, it is loading. And finally, we're here at the main menu of Turrican. The sound works great. I'll turn this up a little bit for you. If any of you know a quicker way to make this load, let me know. Now I completely understand that the original Commodore 64 took forever to load. You would probably be better off going to get a drink or make coffee while you wait for the game to load. But I figured with the emulator, it should load a bit quicker, which it does, but not as fast as I'd like. From here, most of the games, you'll press your fire button to start. We'll go through another loading sequence, like on most games. And here we are. We are now playing Turrican 1 on the Commodore 64 emulator. Now, one of my viewers actually recommended Turrican for Amiga. And uh, I've never played the game before, but this game is awesome, guys, on any system you play it on. So you'll just use your D-pad or your analog stick to move around, and your fire button is A. And the emulator runs amazing. As long as you can wait for those long load times. Like I said, if you know of a quicker way to make it load, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can get that to work. Be much appreciated. I've looked all over, but um, this is the fastest I've been able to get it to do it. To exit this emulator, you'll either press start on your controller and we'll go down to the bottom here, exit emulator, and it'll bring us back to the emulation station front end.
So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Go to that wiki page, the Commodore 64 RetroPie wiki page. You can make the screen a little bigger. It's very easy to do that. This tutorial actually took me a long time to make. Sorry for the wait, guys. I appreciate you watching. If this helped you out at all, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.